up guys today i'm going to be showing you how to make vegan ribs but before we get into this video you guys i'm going to need you to like comment subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos let's get into this video you guys these are all the ingredients that you will need to make your vegan ribs Go ahead and pre-boil your water, which you see here. I'm already boiling the water because you're gonna need this to cook your ribs. Next, you're gonna combine all the ingredients that you have except for the nutritional yeast. Here, I'm adding the vaginal wheat and the extra tofu. Make sure that you get rid of all the excess water in there by using a paper towel. Next, we're gonna put in the veggie stock. We're adding in our soy sauce. Tomato puree. Smoked paprika. Onion powder. barbecue sauce garlic powder cayenne pepper regular black pepper and add a half of a medium onion I prefer you to chop it up and then put it in there now we're gonna blend this up until it's kind of doughy-like. Now here, I'm gonna, because some of the some of the mixture got stuck on the side, so I'm gonna have to like get a knife or something, try to push it down some. So this is what I'm doing right here. So to give it a good mix, I'm gonna power it back up to make sure everything is mixed well. Now we're going to get a medium bowl. We're going to pour the mixture in the medium bowl. We're going to add in our nutritional yeast. And we're going to knead this for about four minutes. Although I use a high power blender, you see how the onion chunks are still in there? That's why I do prefer that you chop them up some before you put them in a food process or a high power blender, whichever one you have. So I'm just stretching it out to show you guys the texture of it. Now we're gonna place this on a cutting board, form it into a loaf. We're gonna flatten it out and form the shape of a rack of ribs. And you will need a rolling pin to flatten this out.
And now you can actually see how the dough is forming into a rack of ribs. Now you're gonna cut the ribs in half. Add spits in there, not cutting it all the way through. And it should look something like this when you put the slits in there. Now we're gonna head over and put these in the boiling water that I had boiling earlier. We're gonna let these boil for 45 minutes. Now that these are done, we're gonna remove these out of the water and place them on a plate or cutting board, whichever one you have or whatever you like to use. And we're gonna put these on the grill. And these things try to give me a hard time by taking them out of the water because they were real tender at this point. And you're gonna see <laughs> me struggling trying to get that one out. And that's probably because I used the wrong tongs, but uh, oh well, I got them out. Yeah, I don't know why these ribs try to give me a hard time today, but uh, we can really throw these things on the grill. Now that these are ready to go on the grill, come follow me outside. Now we're gonna put these on the grill, long enough just to get the grill marks, so about two to three minutes on each side, add your barbecue sauce, and these ribs are ready to eat, honey. <laughs> Don't these look good, y'all? Mm. you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. See you next time. Bye.